This is a question that sometimes comes up at interview and it's the banked track problem and um, it's not uh, so difficult but under pressure of course that's a different matter. So let's see how you do it. Bear in mind this is a particle of mass m uh, on a banked track. It's not sliding down a plane so just be careful you don't treat it as if it's doing that. It's moving in a horizontal circle of um, radius r center c. Because it's moving horizontally therefore it's um, the forces must balance vertically so we must have uh, vertically that r cos theta equals mg so effectively we're resolving vertically there's no acceleration in the vertical direction but horizontally it is accelerating towards the center of the circle and assuming that there's no friction and that's why a bank track is useful because if the particle was moving uh, in a horizontal circuit circle but uh, not on a bank track i.e. where theta is zero you would need friction to provide the centripetal force but in this case without friction the contact force can provide that centripetal force so we have then that the force to the center of the circle is r sine theta which will be mass times acceleration which in the circle is v squared over r so if we divide these two equations so that r drops out we get that tan theta is mv squared over r over mg so the m's cancel and we get v squared over rg so therefore that v squared is gr tan theta and that's basically the final result.